Hello. Welcome to Candace Pastas. Today, this Candace Pasta is going to be Bleeders by Rowan Horton. And this is not for little kids or sensitive people. If you're too young or sensitive, please click away. Let's start here. Every time you sleep at night, do you ever get dreams? Or in fact, do you get nightmares instead? Well, I have a lot of dreams in my life and nightmares too. So, I have a nightmare I want to tell you. I was at a Chinese restaurant with my parents, my older sister, and my foster brother. It was in Gladstone, and I was eager to eat something. My parents went over to choose some food in the core while my older sister did too. When my foster brother, and when it was my turn, I got up from my chair and went to grab some honey chicken and Romsan pork and some more chicken. I got some salad so the way it could make me healthy. I enjoyed our Chinese buffet. It was delicious. We got home, we got home this afternoon and I was feeling pretty full from our dinner. That night, I went to sleep with my Mike and Sully and Mike plush from Monsters, Inc. since they're quite soft. And I began dreaming. In my dream, I woke up in a, on a Chinese restaurant table, it, and it was 10 o'clock a.m. I became confused how I got there. At this moment, various people entered the restaurant, but they didn't notice me. When I went to, went to escape, a random elderly man in a white shirt with a red undershirt and sunglasses appeared in front of me. Two twins appeared on the opposite side. Which one was a red flannel jacket and tattoos? Another was full in a fully black clothing. Finally, a random, a random Asian woman walked in with a lollipop. I was already confused. Why are you crowding on me? I asked in confusion and fear. Where is the girl? My daughter has already seen you with her, the man said. What? What are you talking about? I don't know this girl. Uh, the lollipop uh, girl suddenly pointed her gun at me. <laughs> Stupid boy. I only saw how you die. W what I exclaimed in shock. She pulled the trigger with a clear intent to shoot me. But I had to muster some courage, and I smacked the gun out of her hand, and then I pushed it to one of the twin boys and the, uh, and the father into a stack of water filled with fish tanks. I, I gotta get out of here, I whimpered. I then dashed off to, a, to a escape the restaurant. The twin brother in the black clothing that whipped off his sunglasses started screaming as his eyes turned snake-like. His scream shattered various fragile objects in the restaurant while I made a run for it. A lot of fish tanks, lights, and lights are shattered. Heck, there's some tanks who had fish in them. I grabbed some butcher knives and threw them at them before he looked at them in confusion. I almost bumped into the other twin with the red flare jacket before I made a run off again, and his and he screamed like his brother. He shattered more fragile objects around the place with his screams. The lollipop chick uh, then noticed me heading for the exit. I was near an incredibly large fish fish tank. The big tanks, go! Uh, she said to the twins. The twins held hands and well, pulled their sunglasses off. Huh? and looked at the giant fish tank and started screaming at the same time. The tank started shattering, causing a lar large wave of water to crush on me. I trembled as the tumbled as the water um, before I landed on someone to be in a kitchen. W w what's happening? I asked in fear. Then I, ma then I made out three pairs of feet approaching towards me, stormily, which turned out to be the agent family. The brother in the black clothing then whipped off his sunglasses again. He, just, he looked directly at me and started screaming. God, stop! Make it stop! I shouted, covering my ears. The life pop chick then and came walking by, watching me getting tortured by the uh, trio of a father and his two sons. My ears began burning, and the blood vessels in my ears began tearing. Stop screaming! Stop! What did I do to you? My ears were really bleeding as hell. The other brother Joy didn't make it the chorus louder. Make it stop! Stop! I shouted even even more. Just then, the father then joined in with the brothers. It was hell for me. Just complete utter hell. 
The brother who wore her in black clothing had the most intimidating scream in the face of the brunch. Stop! Stop! I don't want to die. This isn't how I die. Um, my ears began ringing and blood began leaking out of them. My nose even started bleeding, possibly because of the blood vessels first bursting in them. I felt bloody tears coming out of my eyes. I was about to die. My vision began blurring, which meant I was going to die. No. No. Don't kill me. Please. Don't kill me. Please. Don't. I sobbed. Then I, f I, then, I then fainted. The father and his two sons stopped screaming once I finally blacked out. I woke up gasping for air. This whole ordeal is literally a nightmare. What I saw in my nightmare was awfully familiar. It was based off that two thousand with uh, that scene from the two thousand nine film Push, where the protagonist Nick Gant uh, attacked by bleeders. So apparently, in my nightmare, I was attacked by bleeders. I held into my out to my mic and Sony push for comfort. Then I buried my face in my palms and my hands. I decided that morning I could watch Monster Inc. to make myself happy. I made some cereal for breakfast and I put my Monster Z DVD in to get my mind out of push. It will make it me feel better. You know how sensitive I am to movies like those because usually it depends on how dark I see them as. If there's never if there's ever a non horror movie antagonist that you're afraid or highly sensitive to, you can feel free to share your story with me. And that was Bleeders by Rowan Horton. I hope you enjoy this uh, creepy pasta. And if you want to request an audiobook or a creepy pasta, you can you could Google comment down below, or go to my Instagram and DM me. Bye.